I decided to film a book haul this morning when I was deciding what videos to film today and I went back to look at what my last book haul was because I used to keep all the books I bought like separate from all the books that I had bought before the last book haul. I hope that makes sense. But I stopped doing that a while ago because I don't like to film monthly book hauls anymore necessarily. I just kind of want to film a book haul when I feel like it. I didn't know what books I had purchased since my last book haul and I looked back and I realized my last book haul was my December slash Christmas book haul which was a while ago. So I actually have a lot of books to talk to you guys about but I only chose five of them to talk about in this video and I'll try to do another book haul video soon to talk to you about a few more of them. The first book on this haul that I want to talk to you about is a middle grade novel and that is Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. This was everywhere on like bookstagram and booktube for a really long time and then I read the synopsis and I was immediately hooked. I bought it like on the spot. I'm so excited about it. Just so you guys know, I generally will read like the gist of a book or like the bit, the first bit of a synopsis, but I won't like reread the synopsis continuously or like read the whole thing or like delve into what it's about. So sometimes when I describe a book, I might be like slightly wrong or I might just not have all the information that you'd have if you like looked it up on Goodreads on your own. So I will leave Goodreads links down below. But from what I know, this book follows a young girl who was born on a cursed day. And legend says if you're born on that day, you bring like curses to your family and your town and on your 13th birthday, you will die. So this girl meets this person who's like, hey, I know somewhere that you can go and live and you won't die on your 13th birthday. And also, you won't be cursed forever. But you do have to pass all of these trials and tribulations to get into this new place. And it sounds so good. I feel like this is going to be a really good mix of like a female centered Harry Potter feel while also kind of having a Peter Pan feel. That's like kind of what I got when I read the synopsis the first time. Next I have more of a light-hearted kind of romantic contemporary read and that is This Love Story Will Self-Destruct by Leslie Cohen. Oh that will be my bookmark when I start to read this book. This follows two main characters in New York City who who meet and then they like don't get along and then they keep meeting and through all these chance meetings they realize that they're actually like falling for each other. It looks like it's gonna be super lighthearted and super fluffy and I really get in the mood for that kind of read in the springtime. Next we have another kind of almost lighthearted adult fiction read. I actually got sent this by HarperCollins Canada so thank you HarperCollins Canada for sending this to me and that is How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. I haven't read anything by Matt Haig before but I've heard really really good things. Also I really like time travel books and this is about a man who is he's part of a society where they're immortal but the number one rule of this society is you can't fall in love because obviously people can't find out that you never grow up. Uh, and it's about a man who falls in love even though he's part of the society. Sounds super corny and cheesy but sometimes super corny and cheesy are great and I'm really excited about reading this because I've heard that Matt Hag is a really really good writer and like really good writers can make cheesy corny plot lines amazing so I'm excited for this. And last but not least, I have two literary fiction reads. I have been in a huge literary fiction kick recently. I've been buying a lot of literary fiction and reading a lot of literary fiction. The first one you may have seen already because it was in my March TBR video and that is Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. This book was everywhere on booktube and bookstagram back when it first came out a few years ago and I never picked it up and I don't know why I didn't, but I read the first page in the bookstore the other day and I was immediately hooked and I had to have it. And and it follows a family in the States. One of their three children dies and you don't know how she died but you do find out that she was the favorite kid and basically the whole family dynamic falls apart after this girl passes away. From what I can tell it's going to be extremely character driven and I'm so excited for that. And last but not least we have Sleepwalking by Meg Wolitzer. This is Meg Wolitzer's first published novel. She published it at 23 which is crazy to me. This follows three girls referred to by people around them as the death girls because they are obsessed with poets who have completed suicide such as like Sylvia Plath, Anne Sexton, and oh Lucy Asher which is actually Meg Wolitzer's creation for the book, not a real person. And also the main characters are like 
kind of close to my age, which I really like. And I find that with a lot of literary fiction, the problem I have with it, even though it's super well written, is that the characters in it aren't characters that are my age or characters going through something that I can relate to. So I feel like school life and like existential crises are things that I can relate to. So I'm excited about picking this one up hopefully really soon. Also, I haven't seen this anywhere on booktube or bookstagram. So if you've read it, make sure to comment down below and let me know what you thought about it without spoiling anything, obviously. <laughs> I actually feel like this is a really well-rounded book haul. I'm pretty proud of myself. If you guys have read or want to read any of these, make sure to comment down below and let me know. Also, always comment and let me know what you guys have recently bought or received book-wise. And other than that, I will see you guys soon with another video. Happy reading.